thanks for staying with us. Just like language, music, and clothes, food is one of the attributes that define a people. For the people of Enugu State in southeastern parts of Nigeria, that would be the famous okwa, a local bean cake made from banbara nuts. An increase in demand for the local cuisine has turned the meal into a thriving business for entrepreneurs in the value food chain. Whenever you see people gathered around a food vendor in Inugu State in the morning hours, chances are they are there to purchase the Bambara cake, locally known as Opa. It is a popular indigenous meal of the southeasterners, particularly the Enugu people. The nutritious bean cake was previously a staple food for local residents and low-income earners because of the affordability. But over time, it has become a preferred choice for many people, regardless of their class. People who came to Enugu State, especially to Enugu Coast City, they met our people enjoying this opera. And they thought it was not so good a diet. But over time, people have come to know that opa is in fact one of the best nutritious food you can take in Africa. With a simple recipe comprising a mixture of bambara nut flour, warm water, red oil, pepper, salt, and some stock cubes, and cooking time of about 40 to 60 minutes, the cake is ready to serve. According to Food and Agricultural Organizations of the United Nations, the seed contains an average of 63% carbohydrates, 19% protein, and 6.5% fat, making it a very important source of dietary protein. It comes in variants of plain, with vegetables or eggs. It's nutritious, it's proteinous, we love eating it, we love enjoying it. When you see someone that prepares it very well, it's a good delicacy. I mean, it's protein, it's proteinous. So it doesn't help you, it doesn't add weight. You understand? And it keeps you strong throughout the day. Although it is largely consumed by the Igbo people, it is grown in the northeastern part of the country with over 20 truckloads of the nuts coming into Enugu market every week. The cost of a bag has continued to go up, making it less profitable for the women who make it. The business hit me where well, well, but it's, the problem is that now, your but they cost now, but it's not like that before. But the time that I started this talk, but they say a bag like 13,000, 14, 15, but it's now it's 42, some they say 42, some they say, for 40,000 naira. The government should encourage people to go into massive um, farming of um, the upper seed and should encourage uh, local entrepreneurs like this because when, we have, when, when, they, when you have people going to massive farming, you can have more of this and that will help to solve the unemployment problem we have in the country. And um, we can export this to other countries. I mean, it's a beautiful food. In recognition of growing demand for Bambara cake, the State Ministry of Agriculture is encouraging youths to get involved in the production process. We are now trying to inculcate in the habit of our people to grow this sense so that we can make available the land, the seedlings, improved one, so that our people will cultivate it. Bambara nuts is extremely tolerant of poor quality soils and drought with the added feature of high crop yield, particularly suitable for low input agricultural production systems. The government will do well to make the business of Bambara cake an attractive business venture. Okwa sounds nice. I'll probably be trying some myself. And that's the program today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinwami.